So a ton of The Last of Us Part 1 remake has leaked and there is a mixture of uh, opinions going on all around. Welcome back, my friends, to another video here on the channel. Today, I don't want to go too deep into this. I don't want to drag this video out, but I do want to share my own personal thoughts with these leaks because I have seen them. Um, if you haven't seen them, they are extremely easy to find. Obviously, for copyright reasons, I can't show you guys, uh, you know, any specific uh, leaks here on the uh, in the video. But uh, I do want to say that first and foremost, you know, again, some people are saying, oh, this is definitely not worth the money. Other people are saying, whoa, this is definitely worth the money. You can see there's people split down the middle. So you're going to have both people on both sides. And I assume that a lot of you guys watching this are split down both, kind of, uh, you know, on, on both sides as well. Do let me know if you have seen the leaks. What do you make of it? What do you think of it? Now, I do want to say that right off the top, graphically, it's absolutely stunning. We've obviously seen that in the trailer already. The trailer looks phenomenal, but graphically, these screenshots that were posted, um, it really showcases the absolute uh, work that has been put on, put into this game, uh, this you know remake, if you will, to redo all the graphics. It's it's truly stunning. It's probably I mean, look, back when The Last of Us came out on PS3, I said it was the best looking game that I've ever seen in my life. Then they they remastered it uh, for PS4, and I said, wow, this is even better. Uh, but again, Naughty Dog has pulled off making it even better yet. And some people say, wait, what? So you're gonna pay another seventy bucks? just for a graphical upgrade look some people would because they really enjoy the game as is and for the graphics that we're getting i mean it is a massive jump up from from the last of us remastered on ps4 it is huge a huge jump up in my opinion so for a lot of people yeah graphics alone is is worth it for me personally um you know i think it, it is worth it just for that because it's just a visual masterpiece to look at um again you've seen that a little bit in the trailer but these screenshots really show the details it, it's it's truly photorealistic in, in a lot of instances especially some of the close-ups um, a lot of the screenshots surround kind of the early game uh, for the most part there's two specific sequences that they showed off so a lot of it is early in the game with Joel and Tess you know when they're uh, when they when they're first leaving this uh, the city if you will they get stopped by the guards so when they're getting stopped by the guards and the guards are you know checking their their information whatever and, and, and all that and they say okay you know go on move on the shot of the guard I'm looking at it right now. It's just, it's insane. It's really, really crisp. Um, there's another shot uh, of, you know, of them just kind of walking through, uh, you know, just sort of the environments and whatever. And it looks, it looks super, super crisp. The lighting is insane. It's just like, it's really good. We have a shot of Bill. Um, and again, just the detail, the attention to detail is just absolutely incredible. Um, I also seen some side-by-side -side shots of some of these, uh, you know, screenshots. And it's really insane, especially when you stick them side by side. It's really insane. There's also one quick shot. It's kind of a an in action shot of Tommy when he opens up the door and he's like, you know, let's go when everything starts going crazy. Uh, we have a quick shot of that. Also, when it's kind of dark, when they're walking towards the uh, uh, Armadillo Theater, um, we got a shot of that. And it, it's really crisp, especially with the, you know, the night and the way the light's reflecting uh, off, the, off the kind of, you know, sort of wet pavement and whatever. And, you know, you got the fire the glow of the embers of the fire and whatever it, it's nuts like graphically it's nuts but you know for some people that's not enough that comes down to the what about the you know the gameplay mechanics side of things you know they said the gameplay was being redone now look I, as far as getting hands-on with it i don't know how it's going to feel um it could feel a lot smoother than the first game they did show off uh kind of like the menus you know the, con the control scheme um and for that side of things, the controls, when you compare it to the PS3 version, are pretty much identical uh, for the most part. Now, again, this is not like a full in-depth, you know, uh, look at, at all the, the menu options. Obviously, there's going to be other menu options that were not available in the first game that's already been announced, uh, you know, in the base game when it first came out and also in the remaster. But um, for the most part, you know, the typical gameplay mechanics seem, you know, or at least the settings, you know, the controls uh, seem pretty much the same. But again, that doesn't really... Uh, 
dictate, you know, how is it going to feel, right? When you get it, the controller in your hands, first of all, the dual sense controller, you know, the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers, all those different things. I mean, that's obviously going to play into, you know, a little bit more of the experience as well. I mean, the dual sense controller is pretty phenomenal in and of itself, um, in my opinion. So that is going to add an, uh, an, an extra layer. Is that still not enough for you? I mean, it depends. Everybody's going to be torn, like I said. Um, but in terms of, the, like I said, the gameplay, how's the game going to feel, fluidity, all that, that kind of stuff, you're not going to know until you get hands on with it, really. You know what I mean? So we can't really tell that just by, you know, gameplay and screenshots. We have some gameplay that is uh, more in like the Pittsburgh area, if I remember right, um, and uh, whatnot. We got a little bit of a look at the crafting bench and all that. Um, so, I mean, again, this is just kind of, you know, quick snippets of gameplay, um, but it's really clean. Like I said, it's really crisp. It looks great, in my opinion. Um, graphically alone, it's just, it's just so jaw dropping. It's like, just from these screenshots, it's the best game I've ever seen graphically, and it's just blowing my mind. So in terms of that alone, for me, it's worth it because I, I look. I enjoy the story already. I'm not. I'm not expecting a different story. Uh, if, if you're kind of satisfied with the experience you had with you know PS3 version or you know and or the PS4 remaster, then hey, obviously this is not for your, maybe not for you, right? And that's fine. Um, there is a category of people that are really hyped about this. Um, just even like I said, just for graphics alone, and are willing to pay that extra money because the graphics have been so well redone that um, they're willing to pay that just to re-experience it with you know this whole new makeover this fresh coat of paint because again it's not a little little change right i say like the change from ps3 to the ps4 remaster was a lot smaller from the ps4 remaster to this version i think is a is a much larger jump graphically uh, and again they've redone a lot of the animations and, and whatnot right they've redone the the facial model so i mean everything just looks a lot more photorealistic in my opinion i think that alone is, is worth it for me but maybe it's not for you maybe you want to see more gameplay elements um and at the end of the day, everybody's going to be torn. Some people are going to say, you know, this is not worth 70 bucks. It's a rip off. Other people are going to say it's worth it. So, I mean, like I said, what's worth it to one person is not going to be worth it to another, right? It's what they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? So uh, if you will, that's kind of a weird, maybe, uh, you know, kind of uh, phrase to use in this example. But my point being is that it's subjective. At the end of the day, it is going to be subjective. Everybody's going to be torn on this. Uh, everybody's going to think, you know, differently uh, in terms of, you know, value and and so it's just you got you got to choose. Like I said, if you want to see the, the footage and the screenshot, it's uh, it's all available online. I don't there's hasn't seemed to be taken down yet. It has been up for you know at least a couple days, so you could go check it out for yourselves. I'm not going to show it up here just because uh, you know I want to avoid obviously copyright copyright issues. But um, again, I think it looks uh, looks great personally. I'm excited just for the graphics. I think the gameplay is going to feel a lot smoother. Uh, the Dual Sense you know features also. Uh, I really love the you know haptic feedbacks and the adaptive triggers. I'm a sucker for that I, I love like cool little what some people call gimmicky features i love that you know it's one thing i love about nintendo right is is all the kind of cool different uh things that they've tried throughout the years the innovative things right with the wii u gamepad and the and the wii remotes and things like that so i love that about playstation and their controller and you know i'm excited to you know uh replay this game again i know the story of beating it like seven times six times i don't know how many times quite a few times uh and i'm willing to play it again because i think it looks great so whatever, if it's up, to, if, if it's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. If it's not, it's not. Like I said, everyone's going to be torn, but those are just my thoughts. I want to share them with you guys here on the channel. So let me know your thoughts. Go check out, uh, you know, if you want to go see the leaks at your own discretion um, and let me know your, th your thoughts in the comments below. Is it enough to, uh, you know, sway you to, you know, buy the game again, or is it just not your cup of tea? Again, it's fine either way, either or, you know, no, no harm, no foul here, man. You know, just subjective, right? It's all subjective. So let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys soon another one. Tell them friends. Game on. Thanks for watching.